ki MLA kaliang persha hakis ngi baar kila rai ban mi no na po kiyeng dar bar thau ain haswa bo menti rang ba ka jela konrat ke sangma ujubap ya ke jingya tai hak ba ye dei bat ka mang tingka hakis ngi kut no jong ka dar bar mang tingka kane ke jingmi jong ki MLA kaliang persha kalong halor ka jing singo khia bai ki kindon bat ka rukom panya ya ke yeng dar bar thau ain la panya khlem da upot ya ke kindon bat ki la khmi len ti ba ulam phang ka yeng dar bar thau ain on pan bit ya ki ne ki jingle pakla ha ka ba na kaliang ulam phang u khlem da le kumba ki la dawa u MLA ka congress u doctor kalestin lingdo u bala kdeu ya ki mat Ula ong ba hapo ki kindon bat ki rukom penyayat ya ke yeng dar ba thau ain jong ke mekhaya legislative assembly Ula ong ba la dey ki don ki kindon ki ba klem bot la ne ka rukom manjur ki bel ne ka mang tingka ba la penyayat klem da bot ki no ki no ki dekat ki la ban penpau ya ki hok kat kum ki hukum Ula ong ba ki jing jubab jong menteri ka pelan tingka ha ka jing jikren lang ne ka general discussion halor ka mang tingka ka peni Bahkan kut no ha ke jing yantai hindre kilai i menta ke sengi ba ke jing jubab jeng menteri ke tenat pelah tingka lakwan rak menta ke sengi ke ba peni ba ya ke e ke ba lak le ha ke sengi tok ding ba lak dep ke lak long pura ke ba persya iki kendon. See today under the rules of procedure and conduct of business in the Meghalaya Legislative Assembly, there is a provision that if rules are not followed or if the sequence of events to pass certain bills or budget is not followed, any member can raise a point of order. So in layman's term, I raised that point of order, mentioning that uh, the due process for passing the budget was not observed. So I called the attention of the chair to study the provision of rule 142 and 143, where it has clearly stated that the budget has to be disposed of in two stages. Stage number one is the general discussion. Stage number two is voting on demand for grants. So in stage number one, how it has to be carried out, rule 143 has clearly spelled out. During the general discussion, there should be no voting on the demand for grants. But that is exactly what we did last Friday where the discussion, I mean general discussion on the budget was not completed, but the voting on the demand for grants was placed in the house and voting was done in contravention of the provision of Rule 143. Now, in layman's term, we say, what is the end of the general discussion of the budget? The end of discussion is signified or shown by the reply of the finance minister on the general discussion on the budget. That signifies the end of general discussion. But as we see today, the reply of the finance minister is placed today, which clearly indicates that what was done on Friday was totally against the rules. So that is why after we raise the point of order, the chair has not given the ruling then all the members in the opposition feel it that unless the rules are followed, the members sitting in the opposition feel that there is no use for them to be inside the house. That is why we walked out. So we also see like in today during the session, the way some unnecessary use of words like how you have asked to expunge like a waste of time <clears throat> and several others. We've seen this a lot has been happening and several other legislators also have raised. Uh, hasn't been quite a concern when it comes for the opposition? See, when members from the opposition or any member, maybe from the ruling also, when he raised a point of order, it does not mean that it is a waste of time for the house. It is only to call the attention on a certain point. Maybe the sequence of the list of business are not followed or maybe the rules are not followed. And when time is, is spent on uh, raising the point of order, that is never at all considered as a waste of time or a disturbance. So that is why we always ask for expunging those words. Haba pensengau ya kejuk ke jing sengau unang yalam ke liang persya uba roni wi ling do Ula ong ba ke jing mi no na po ke ying dar bar kam day ba ki persya ya ke mang tengka Hendrik ke day tang na mar ba klem bot ya ke kendon You see, I think we walked out, we're not against the budget 
we walked out because rules were not followed. Okay. Now, an assembly. We consider legislature supreme. And if in a supreme institution rules are not followed, then what will happen to other institutions? We walked out not you know, because we're against the budget or anything like that. But then rules have to be followed. And you see now, uh, information can be disseminated, uh, dis disseminated in you know, a matter of seconds. Now we, you know, the house is conduct, conducted in English. Now, if all this goes and other assemblies observed, they'll say, hey, what is happening to Meghalaya Legislative Assembly? See, it's not a question of any bill or anything, the budget. See, it's very important that rules are con uh, followed and the House is conducted as per the rules and procedure of the House. That is all. And, you know, we had pointed an anomaly. All they could have done was say, okay, this will not be repeated in future. We would have been very happy. But then if views and opinions are expressed by the opposition, you know, are trampled upon, then we are left with no option but to walk out. As an opposition, so during this budget session, were you all satisfied with the, um, uh, the amount of time that was given to discuss on the budget? You see, now, uh, for example, we were given three days. Why this happened is because the government didn't anticipate, you know, the, their business. I think they needed about four or five days. They didn't anticipate. That's why, you know, they had to uh, resort to this. So this also reflects badly in the government. Huh? Uh, so because as the BSC, we have no business, you know, uh, you know, in the list of items to be taken up. We are only, you know, the you know the amount of time that will be given for the session. Citizen first is our motto. We believe that our citizens need to be connected with government for faster and efficient service delivery. I am happy to announce that we are coming up with a dedicated CN Helpline call center. 